Hey guys, it's Sarah. So I'm back. Basically, I had pre-filmed this video and another video and I ended up not liking it because my face was really puffy in it and I really didn't like it. So this is the second time I'm filming this. So hopefully it turns out better. But basically I had an allergic reaction to, honestly, I have no idea. There's so many things that it could have been. At one point I was thinking I was allergic to sunscreen, but I'm not. We're trying to figure it out, but yeah. So today I'm gonna to be doing a summer TBR and goals that I would like to do that's book related. Let's get started. <laughs> the goals a goal of mine is to finish at least like 20 ish books more or less just around 20 books it's gonna be summer so I'm gonna have so much time to read but I also want to have time to like hang out and like go to like theme parks and hang out with my friends yeah I do have those goals but I also have goals to like hang out with my friends and make time for like my family and being social. <laughs> I just have so many book related goals. I want to physically read a couple books because lately, if you've seen my like facts about me, I've talked about how I like to read, which is reading along in the physical book while listening to an audiobook. And I enjoy that way. I feel like I'm really immersed into the world, but I also want to read physically. And I just don't really have much time to do that. But in the summer, I hopefully will. So. I also want to read more contemporaries. Anyway, let's get started. So I want to either finish the series off fully or just have these couple books finished by the end of the summer. And those books are the fourth, fifth, and sixth book in the Harry Potter series, which is The Goblet of Fire, The Order of the Phoenix, and The Half-Blood Print. And The Half-Blood Prince. Currently, I'm reading the third book, which is The Prisoner of Azkaban. Why can't I speak? The Prisoner of Azkaban. And I'm really enjoying it and I hope to finish it by the end of the week, but I'm also currently reading like three books at the same time, so like, I might not. <laughs> so I really want to finish these. I love being in the Harry Potter world and I just purchased like all of the Harry Potter movies, so after every book I could just watch the movie and it'll just be amazing and I just, it'll just be great. I came home today and I blessed my mom with a beautiful, gorgeous, concert. I sang my heart out. Yeah. The next book is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. I really want to get to this, but I also want to get to other books by her like Ghost of the Shadow Market and Red Schools of Magic. But I really want to get to Ghost of the Shadow Market because it follows one of my favorite characters ever. So, but anyway, so <laughs> this book is part of a trilogy which follows Emma and Julian and basically Emma's trying to find her parents' killers and there's a lot more going on there's a lot more family drama and a lot more like things that are going on a lot more perspectives and there's like just so much but like i don't want to say much because you kind of have to read the mortal instruments and the infernal devices to get to this book i mean you can read this book but then you'll get spoiled for the rest of the series like this book meaning like this trilogy. I really wanted to get to Queen of Air and Darkness during May, but I don't think I'll be able to do that since I'm currently reading three books and I'm honestly not reading that much. I just don't want to have this to read on top of all of that, so I just want to finish this this summer and as long as I do that I will be perfectly happy. It's kind of intimidating me, not gonna lie, but I'm excited because I know that this has like illustrations. Which I am super pumped about like there's like illustrations, I'm excited. But yeah, so I have this big baby on my list. The next book that I have is Finale by Stephanie Garber. I am really excited to read this book. This is the third book and the final book in the Carval trilogy. This trilogy follows these two sisters who go to this Carval event. It's very hard for me to describe. I'll try my best. <laughs> it's kind of an event where it's like this mystery and you're looking for something and you can either be a player or a watcher or an actor which you'll get yeah it's basically this game that you have to play and the winner gets a wish from the carval master legend so you don't really know what's real and what's not and 
you kind of have to pay attention closely to the story. So yeah, that's <laughs> what it's about. So yeah, I really want to get to this book. I don't think I'll be able to get to it this month. So I just, honestly, I just want to finish it this summer. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say about this. I really enjoyed the last book and I hear that this is a pretty good ending, but I haven't heard that many reviews on it. So I can't wait to read it for myself and get my own opinion on it. But yeah, the next books on my TBR that I would like to finish before summer ends is The Raven Cycle, which is the last two books, Blue Lily Lily Blue and The Raven King. And I love The Raven Cycle so much. And I honestly don't want it to end, so that's why I'm spacing it out. But again, I really wanted to read Blue Lily Lily Blue in the month of May, but I don't think I'll be able to get to it. But yeah, so basically this series follows some of my favorite characters ever. It's Blue, who has lived in a house full of psychics who have told her all her life that she is going to kill her true love. It also follows these raven boys who are looking for this Welsh king, Glendower, and basically they team up and it's like the best thing ever. I can't wait to finish these but I also don't want it to end so that's why I have it for the summer. <laughs> The Raven Cycle is pretty much like my favorite series ever. One of them, honestly, I think I should do a video on that. Like some of my favorite series ever. I can't get over these books. It's just so good and I can't put it into words. Probably because I'm really bad at explaining, but mm. And I, oh! But yeah, so I'm excited to read these. These covers are gorgeous. I probably said that a thousand times, but. The next books are going to be contemporaries, which it's summer, so I want to read some contemporaries. And those books are Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. And this just seems like the perfect contemporary fluffy read whenever I'm just need a pick-me-up whenever I'm on a book hangover, which I actually plan to read this after Queen of Air and Darkness because that's a big book and this is kind of a smaller book and I just need that quick pick-me-up, quick love story, you know? It follows this girl named Bailey. My dog is named Bailey, so that's nice. But it follows this girl named Bailey who is really crushing on this guy, Alex, who she has met online. But she moves and she kind of makes enemies with this guy, Ryder, is that his name? Porter. This guy Porter and she really doesn't like him but then she kind of starts liking him so it's kind of like this love triangle but secretly Porter is Alex. That's not a spoiler. It was said in the synopsis so. It seems like a cutesy little thing with a little big problem. Also this cover is just so aesthetic. I just want to read more contemporaries because I literally read like none. The next book that I want to get to is a very, very popular one. And that book is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. So I started it. I literally got like maybe 40 pages in. So I'm not that far in, but I'm quite a good bit in. And I'm so good to myself because I left myself a note talking about what was going on where I left off. So, because I just knew that I was gonna put it down. It follows this guy named Monty who is traveling Europe with his best friend Percy, who he actually has a crush on, and his sister Felicity, and they are traveling around Europe. I just think that it's cute and funny. A lot of people say that it's really funny, so I just really wanna read a funny novel that is interesting and entertaining and it seems like a cool summer book. I think that's what I've been waiting for this whole year. A cute summer book. So hopefully I can get to it. And the last book on my summer TBR slash goals. I feel like I've missed a couple but we're going with it. <laughs> and that book is Save the Date by Morgan Max Morgan Matson. Morgan Madsen is one of my favorite contemporary authors. My favorite book of hers is Since You've Been Gone, and that is my favorite contemporary book ever. I've also read Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, and I love that one as well. It's just her books are so entertaining, but I haven't heard that many great things on 
save the date. I do want to get my own opinion on it. I mean, I always end up loving Morgan Matson's books, but this book follows a girl named Charlie and her sister is getting married and it this book takes place over like a couple days. Pretty much the wedding planner canceled and honestly anything that could have gone wrong in this wedding goes wrong. I feel like that's one aspect that I just won't be so happy with because there tends to be a lot of problems in the book and I just kind of like when things go smoothly, you know what I mean? I don't know, it'll be a different twist. Hopefully I enjoy it, I'm pretty sure I will. I'm not that critical with authors in general so I don't think I'll be that critical with her books since I tend to love them anyway. That is the last book in this summer TBR. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and and I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I'll see you guys later. Bye!